No, the pole star is not the brightest in the sky. It's not even in the top 10. The pole star is the 49th brightest star seen from Earth. The brightest star in our sky, besides the Sun, is Sirius, also known as the Dog Star, or Sirius A, with an apparent magnitude of minus 1.46. Sirius is so bright that despite the massive amounts of light pollution, it can still be seen by the naked eye across the US. The name means glowing in Greek, which is a fitting description. Only a few planets, the Sun, our Moon, and the International Space Station outshine this star. Sirius A, a main sequence star, is part of a binary system, together with its companion Sirius B, a white dwarf, which is 10,000 times dimmer than Sirius. White dwarfs get dimmer and dimmer until they eventually stop burning and go dark, thus becoming black dwarf stars the final stage of a star's evolution. Eventually, our Sun will cycle to the white dwarf stage as well. As an A-class star, Sirius is significantly larger than our Sun and shines with an absolute magnitude more than 20 times more luminous. But because it is still in the main sequence phase, it means it is still burning hydrogen in its core and hasn't yet expanded into a giant phase. Sirius is around 230 million years. It is predicted that the star will completely exhaust its store of hydrogen at its core within a billion years from its formation. Sirius will pass through a red giant stage, then settle down to become a white dwarf, similar to Sirius B. The star has a radius of about 740,000 miles, 71% larger than the radius of the Sun. Sirius is the seventh closest star system known to Earth. It lies in the constellation Canis Major, and it's only 8.6 light years away from Earth. The dog star is visible in evening skies in late winter, while in late summer, you'll find it in the east in the pre-dawn hours. One easy way to find Sirius in winter evening skies is to locate Orion, which dominates this region of the sky. The bright star is a short distance southeast of Orion. In fact, the three stars of Orion's belt can be used as a pointer to Sirius. Being such a visible heavenly body, Sirius was a well-known object to the ancients. Ancient Egyptians used the stars to determine which season was coming. In ancient Egypt, the name Sirius signified its nature as scorching or sparkling. They noted that Sirius rose just before the sun each year prior to the annual fluting of the Nile River. Interestingly, the ancient cultures have related the brilliant Sirius with either a dog or a wolf. In ancient Chaldea, present-day Iraq, the star was known as the dog star that leads. In ancient China, the star was identified as a heavenly wolf. In Assyria and Akkadia, it was said to be the dog of the sun. And North American indigenous tribes describe Sirius as the dog that follows mountain sheep. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and please support us on patreon.com slash cosmonology.